Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Till now we have been uh, dealing with a uh, simple edit menu options that are available in this here. So we have completed cut, copy, paste, delete and then we have completed select all and the time date. And in this video we are going to see the most complicated uh, of all those options. It is undo. So it is different because it requires separate class to be maintained for this operation and we are going to do just that. We are going in this video we are going to create a class that handles the stack that is required for undo operation. So basically what we are going to do is maintain stacks that are essentially needed to save state that can actually lead to undo operation so basically we will be using stock and uh, pop items out of the stock and push item into the stack basically to repeat this undo operation so let's get started with that for this we need to create let's create a, a new folder here so let's name it as functionality and inside the folder let's create a new class let's name it as undo redo class so this is it let's make it public so this class will have stack that is needed to maintain states for undo and uh, redo operation so let's do this inside this class we need two stacks they are string stacks actually make it as a string one is undo stack and another one is redo stack undo stack save the, saves the state for what's undone in text area and redo stack saves the state whenever uh, undo is clicked so when, once we are done with this you will understand what's going on basically we have uh, more complex algorithms for uh, un implementing undo and redo operation but we will uh, stick to the most basic one so whenever uh, this object uh, whenever this class is instantiated let's instantiate uh, this tags to We need to implement a list of uh, methods that can be used for uh, uh, this undo and redo operation. So let's do this now. We need to have a method called clear which will clear all the elements in uh, both the stacks. Clear is the function that's built in to the stack. Redo stack and then clear it. So both the stacks will be clear when this method is called and we can add items to the stack so we are going to add this to undo stack and not the redo stack so for adding we need to call the method push push is an analogous to add operation and we need to add the item here and then let's add the method called undo here we need to pop the item from uh, the undo stack itself so let's have a variable item and we can use in undo stack uh, we will be having a method called pop which will pop the item that is on the top of the stack and assigns it to item and we can uh, then add this to redo stack so whatever is undone can be redone so we need to save what's being popped here to this particular uh, stack so that if the user changes the mind and uh, needs to redo what he has undone we we can actually allow this to happen so we can push 
this item into the stack and save it here and finally we can uh, return the first element from this undo stack itself so basically what we are doing is we will be saving state at a various instance of time and we will be popping out uh, let's say her name is Anna and uh, the previous save uh, previous string that has been saved in this undo stack is her name is so we will be popping her name is Anna here and we will be pushing it to pushing the same to the redo stack her name is Anna and uh, what we will be having in this undo stack as the first element is her name is so we will be returning this her name is string to the calling function and we will be uh, restoring the previous state and it is undone so whenever the user clicks redo and this redo stack will not be empty and it will have her name is Anna and it will be just restored so it's just a simple uh, undo redo operation and it's how it's done let's write a method call for uh, redo itself so public string redo so we need to have a few conditions here if redo stack is empty that is if redo stack has a count of uh, zero we need to uh, return undo stacks first element here basically we are doing this because if the redo stack is empty it means that there is nothing to be redone so we can just uh, return uh, undo stacks first element that is what's currently there and just reassign it so basically in UI level there is no change that will be observed because we will be just uh, sending back the data that is available in the text area itself and then we can uh, actually uh, write the code for uh, undo operation redo operation here uh, let's have a string item and if the redo stack does contain some contents so we need to pop uh, like we did with uh, undo stack so we will have this value in this item string and we need to push the same to undo stack so what's redone can be undone so push it here you should be uh, returning undo stack first undo stack first will always contains what need to be in text area so we can return uh, the same in both these methods and finally we have to add a few more helper methods that needs to be there uh, to help us write the logic in uh, other classes we need to have a function that returns uh, boolean value for uh, if undo can be done so return uh, this uh, condition so undo stack dot count so here the condition is undo stack if the count of the undo stack is more than one it can be undone and for uh, redo so can redo call this client redo so here the condition is if the redo stack has count greater than zero we can redo this these are the conditions for uh, undo and redo operation also we can have a few uh, two more methods for uh, returning a list of items so this might be helpful uh, in the future just be quick so another method that will uh, return a string of uh, list of strings let's convert this undo stack as list so the same goes here 
so we have written this undo redo class and it has two stacks that saves string from time to time and we can basically pop the items from this stack and uh, do undo operation and uh, also redo operation and we, it also has a list of methods which will be useful uh, while uh, writing the logic for this code on a GUI level so that's it for this video I can't show any demo now let's move on to the next video and uh, we will be writing more in uh, edit operation here and uh, then finally we will be writing in the main form itself and uh, carry out the undo and redo operation stay tuned uh, subscribe to my channel thank you